Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Learning with Lori. I thought I would speak to you this week about the vacant home tax that if you have a property in the City of Toronto, whether you reside in it, whether you rent it out and whether it is vacant or not, you absolutely have to by the end of this month, so by February 29th, you have to declare the vacancy. And if you do not declare it, the City of Toronto will assume that it's vacant and charge you a vacant tax on it. And I believe that amount is 1%. So to everybody who has a property, make sure you look into it. I am recording this episode with the City of Toronto screen and I will share the link in the comments so people can go straight there to look at it. One of the things that you want to keep in mind is what is considered vacant in this scenario. And for the City of Toronto, it is my understanding that they are considering a property that does not have a primary resident living in it is not being leased out to someone else and is literally vacant for a period of six months or more, then this vacant tax will be owed to the City of Toronto. So one of the things that you need to keep into consideration in that situation is if someone has deceased, and as we all know, it sometimes can take uh, more than six months for probate to happen in order to sell a property. So there is um, a, an avenue that you can take. You do have to provide a copy of the death certificate, but just please keep that in mind. So the key takeaways from this week's addition is that if you have a home in the city of Toronto, you need to declare the residency of that property by the end of the month. If it has been sitting vacant due to someone passing away, you need to provide a copy of the death certificate. My name is Lori Roberts. I am a full-time real estate broker with Remax Rouge River, primarily in Durham region. Please do not hesitate to contact me for all of your real estate needs. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.